How to remove background noise from a video. That is something a lot of content creators struggle with. In this video I will show you how you can remove and reduce background noise. I'm Marlon and welcome to the White Noise Studio. Nothing is as annoying as when you have recorded your voice to a video and you noticed your audio is noisy. There are a few common types of background noise. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Audio which has too much echo, like in this clip. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Hum. That low frequency hum, usually introduced by electronical gear like lights or power sockets. And environmental noise, which is sound which comes from your surroundings like the passing car in this clip. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Or you could have crowd noise or a noisy air conditioner in the background or something like wind noise. So how do you remove background noise? You only need to work on the audio of your video. This is something you can do inside your video editor. I prefer to separate the audio from the video and work on the audio separately and do the denoising in a special audio editor like Audacity or Cubase. There are a few methods which you can use to remove and reduce background noise. Editing and gating. First is to simply reduce the volume of the parts where the noise happens. Find parts which are without voice and simply reduce the audio after the words you say and apply a nice crossfade for a smooth transition. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. You can also apply a gate where you have to set a threshold below which the audio will automatically mute the audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Both of these methods can sound unnatural if you don't have any background music. So experiment if you want complete silence or just less noise. This technique can work well when you have some slight hiss or reverb which is mostly cloaked when your normal voice is happening. EQ. You can use EQ when you have a constant noise happening like that low hum. With a hum, it's usually a 50 Hz or 60 Hz hum depending where you live in the world. That 50 or 60 Hz can be reduced but also has so called harmonics which are frequencies on top of that low end hum. Those are multiplies of whatever power grid frequency you have. So 50 Hz will also have 100 Hz, 150 Hz, 200 Hz and so on. For 60 Hz those will be 120 Hz, 180 Hz, 240 Hz and so on and so on. To fix that you use an EQ with multiple bands with small width and reduce those frequencies. That low frequency hum usually introduced by electronical gear like lights or power sockets. That low frequency hum usually introduced by electronical gear like lights or power sockets. This can also work when you have a slight case of wind noise. That usually literally overblows the low end of your audio. Or something like wind noise. Reduce the low end when you have some wind noise by dipping the frequencies or use something like a high pass or a low cut. This can work wonders. Or something like wind noise. 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 But often these methods won't be enough, so you have to use specialty software like a denoiser or a de reverb. This is the denoise in Spectra Layers 7. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly. First, the program needs to learn the noise profile. 
This will analyze the noise. Then you can apply the denoising, which is a complex form of EQ and dynamic EQing to reduce the noise. This will nicely clean up the audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. If you do it too much, you will start to notice it will sound like a bad web stream. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Hiss. That noise you hear when you record it too softly and you want to boost your audio. Here we have a clip of which the audio is too echoey, which has too much reverb. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Reverb has a tail as it's called, and you can remove that or reduce it by applying a gate or manual edit the audio like this. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. 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 But we are going to apply a D Reverb plugin on it. It's the Isotope RX8 D Reverb. Tweak with the settings until it sounds right. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. 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 This is without the reverb. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And this is with. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. And here's the clip recorded at the street with a phone. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. So it combines a more distant sound with background noise and has two passing cars. Now this will never get great, but it can be a lot more acceptable. With this kind of background noise, you will not get around by using special denoising software for that. Let's use Audacity, which is free for its denoising function, EQ and editing to improve this recording. Let's duplicate the track so you can hear the before and after comparison. First, you need to set the noise profile. Select a part which has some of the noise, here it is at the end, and the denoising will sample the noise there, which it uses to create its denoising processing. After that, you select the entire clip and preview and tweak the settings until it sounds good enough. Try out a few settings. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Now, you still hear the cars passing by. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. And that is something which will be harder to fix. But let's use the envelope tool to reduce that first loud car part a bit. Select the tool and reduce the gain and make sure the gain comes back up again after the car has passed. It sounds like this now. We can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. I hear some low frequency noise from the car. So I will apply an EQ to the low end. Let's use the filter EQ curve. Remove the low end by dragging the graph down and add another EQ point here and find a point where the noise doesn't sound thin. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's and let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. This is the original audio. And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. And this is the fixed audio.
And let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Let's see how we can remove this noisy car over here. Of course, it's always best to make sure you don't have to fix anything and record your audio properly. And there's a limit on how much you can do. Isolating a voice in a busy crowd? Good luck with that. After you have removed the background noise, you have to make sure the audio sounds good. To make sure that happens, you must watch the video displayed on screen right now. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and please share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!